Oh, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps. I want to welcome y'all back to another episode of Last Chance You Mondays. Now, this is not an episode that I'm happy to make. I had hoped this episode would go a lot different than what it ended up going. But, yeah, the information is the information is the information, all right? So, here's what happened. Well, first off, before we get into it, man, make sure you click the thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed this series or if you learned something new. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel every single Monday, Last Chance You News, updates on former players, and the current Last Chance You as well, assuming it's something to update, which it isn't this week. This week, we are talking about Chauncey Rivers and all the guys at FAU. So we'll talk about Chauncey first. Now, I made a video last week talking about Chauncey and letting y'all know that he had not been yet cleared by the NCAA to play in Mississippi State's first game. Well, now it's been confirmed that he will not play at all. In 2017, he has been deemed academically ineligible at Mississippi State. Now, he had filed an appeal with the NCAA to retain his academic eligibility, but it was denied. His coach Dan Mullen said, and I quote, it was a situation from his junior college deal that they had set up for him. Now that's as much detail as he goes in, but I can tell you right now what it sounds like. Because if I remember correctly from watching the show, Chauncey's grades was A1 during his time at EMCC. But it seems like they didn't get everything set up properly. <clears throat> As far as making sure he was taking the right classes, that would then make him eligible to play this year. Now, that might not be the case. I don't know. Again, it does not go into detail. I'm just going off of my college football experience. I remember stuff like that would happen all the time. The good news is he does get an academic red shirt, so he'll red shirt this season and still have two years of eligibility left when the 2018 season begins. Only issue with that is it's tough, man. A lot of times, for these cats to keep their head straight for a whole year without actually playing football. But good luck to Chauncey, and again, I'll keep y'all updated if anything else pops off. On to FAU. FAU, FAU, FAU. Boy, their opener was garbage. It was horrible, bro. Like, terrible. It's just, it's just real bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? So first off, they played Navy. They lost. 42 to 19, okay? That was at home, bro. Now, the game did keep getting stopped because of uh, lightning delays, but they looked, they had no rhythm before that, which you can imagine because they kind of put a team together and those guys, a lot of those guys haven't even played together. Then to make it even worse and completely leave me uninterested, DeAndre Johnson did not win the starting quarterback position. He lost to a guy named Parr. DeAndre Johnson did play. He ran for 31 yards on four carries, and he went two of three passing for five yards and a pick. I didn't actually see John Franklin on the field. I only watched, like, the beginning part of the game, but he did eventually play. He had two catches for seven yards. Oh, Tim Bonner. Okay, okay, Tim Bonner. Yeah, he, he didn't play much and was not much of a factor. So it was definitely a bad debut. It's only one game, so it's not like the sky has fallen, but it is falling. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I just feel like something's going to have to, like, some going to have to shake it to gear, man. But we'll see what happens. Like I say, I'll continue to monitor the situation, and I'll keep y'all updated on it. By the way, there's also there was also a rumor that DJ Law was planning the CFL. I have not been able to find any evidence on this. If you got some some proof or some facts or something, uh, please tweet it at me at Flimlo Raps. But other than that, that's all I got for you. I'ma holler at y'all next time, bros. Wow.